If you guys want to get some awesome teams and guaranteed class players, make sure you go and check out FootCoinKing.com. Their link is down below. And if you use discount code B87, you get an extra 6% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another Every Card on Ultimate Team, the series where we look at one individual player, maybe maybe even two, and uh, show you every card they've had from FIFA 09 all the way to FIFA 15. Now, with you guys absolutely loving this series, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and try and hit the like uh, target of 5,000. If you do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes as well, make sure you check out G2A.com. And today, as you can tell, we're getting our teeth stuck into Luis Suarez. I really need to stop with these cringy fucking jokes. But you get the message, Suarez has had an up and down career, mainly up, but he has had some severe downs, racism, biting people, um, who knows what else is to come from this awesome player, and you can't deny his ability on the pitch. As a Liverpool fan myself, it's a shame that he's not playing for Liverpool, uh, but I think any team would miss a player of his calibre, even though off the field and on the field, he can be a bit of an animal. So, with that said guys, let's go and have a look at Suarez's career on Ultimate Team and start off with with his non-informed cards. So his first card ever began on FIFA 09 and it was a 79 rated left wing card for Ajax. If, if you didn't know, he actually played for Ajax before Liverpool signing quite early on in his career. In FIFA 10, he did have an 84 rated and an 87 upgrade as well. And uh, then obviously had one card in FIFA uh, 11 with an 83 right forward. Then moved to Liverpool. So he got a Liverpool card, which was a right forward as well. And then the season after, we see the rise of Suarez. FIFA 12, he had an 85 rated, and then a January upgrade to 87. FIFA 13, he had an 86 rated centre forward card. FIFA 14, he had a centre forward card. Uh, 86 rated and that was bumped up in January to an 88 as this was obviously Liverpool's best season in a long time. And then, and then... And then he got banned, and then he moved to Barcelona, and then he actually didn't get released into packs until a couple of, was it a month or so after the game was released, uh, but now you can actually pack Suarez, which we've obviously done this so far this year with the lightning rounds on Boxing Day. So there are all his non-informed cards, guys, if you remember his career at Ajax, let me know, I know a lot of Ajax fans do watch my videos as I do comment quite a lot, and uh, yeah, let's go and have a look at his informed cards over the years. And all his informed cards have come while he was at Liverpool. In FIFA 11, he had an 85 rated striker card, an 86 rated striker card, an 86 rated right, uh, right forward card as well. You don't really see many players get right forward or left forward cards now. They're quite a rare pull, um, but they were very some very nice looking cards. In FIFA 12, he had an 87 and 88 rated striker card, and uh, FIFA 13, 88, 87 as well. Now, FIFA... Uh, FIFA 14, which was last year, he actually got an 89, 90 and 91. So he got a third in form. Um, and these were obviously bumped up as well when he did get his January upgrade. Because I think he got one or two before the uh, January deadline anyway. Which was nice for people who didn't know what was happening. And if you guys don't know what happens with informs when people do get January upgrades, when they've got previous informs, then let me know and I might make a video on it for you guys to get your teeth stuck into. I can't even really stop saying that. I am shit at Suarez. I'm shit at jokes. We get the message bits and he fucking bit Keely and he bit a few other people. He's a vampire. Yeah, that's enough. So let's go and have a look at his team of the season cards. So Suarez had two team of season cards, one of them being a 91 rated striker uh, for Liverpool, obviously in FIFA 13. And then last year he got a 95 rated striker card, obviously proving he was Liverpool's best player last season. And um, then it just went downhill. And if you're a Liverpool fan, you know exactly what I am on about. But obviously, well, if you're, if you're not a Liverpool fan, you'll know exactly what I'm on about as well because um, we become a mocking, an absolute, well, we get the piss taken out of us on a daily basis after watching them on a weekend. So there is two team of the season cards on Ultimate Team. If he continues the way he's going at Barca, he may get a team of the season as well. Um, but who knows when you've got likes of Messi and uh, Neymar as your strike partners in the La Liga. So even though Suarez did have a controversial World Cup bite in Chiellini, he actually managed to get a, um, an international man of the match card, which is 92 rated green card. And that did bump up his uh, standard um, World Cup card, which is the one on the left-hand side, uh, to a 92. So he had two 92 
World Cup cards and then it just went downhill after he played Italy. So that's his uh, only special cards of FIFA so far. So let's go and have a look at all his cards. And there they are from a 79 rated all the way to a 95 rated card in FIFA 14. He's had a pretty successful career on Ultimate Team. I wouldn't mind him being at Ajax playing with his Ajax card. It would probably lift up the um, entertainment value with the Eredivisie teams as they are quite lacklustre currently. There isn't many highlight players, um, well, any high rated uh, highlight players which you play with um, but obviously he moved on to bigger and better things with Barcelona um, and Liverpool so obviously not as many actually he might, I don't know if he's got more he might have more cards than Hazard who knows but these two players which we've done this weekend are two to look out for the future and it'd be nice to see how their careers do prosper um, with Suarez being at Barca and Hazard being at Chelsea so guys smash that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed as well try and smash over 5,000 likes and if you do want the ultimate team coins check out Foot Coin King their link is down below in the description until next time guys see you all later have a very very nice day